Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and I'd like to talk to you today about a brand new QNAP TVS1282. So this unit is run on an Intel 6th generation 14 nanometer multi-core processor. So we're talking about the new Skylake, the Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7s. So this network attached storage, or NAS, has built-in slots specifically it has eight of them for 3.5 inch drives and that's your typical drive that you think of for uh, desktops or more legacy server perhaps and it also features four slots which can hold a two and a half drives generally uh, individuals and corporations want to put ssds in those and it also features uh, the ability to put two m.2 sata drives in there now this unit has full of features. It's built on something called Q-tier technology, which basically allows you to use the SSD drives as cache to get higher bandwidth out of it. It features four gigabit ports in the back, so you've, you can basically use them in a variety of ways. You can have round robin, uh, you can bundle them up to get more bandwidth, you can have failover, and so forth. And of course, as you can imagine, you can have various uh, RAID levels on this. So you could have RAID 10s, RAID 5, RAID, you name it, and you can do it. Uh, the interface, it's a, the operating system on this is QTS 4.22, which is uh, the latest version available right now. I understand that uh, 4.3 is right around the corner. Um, it's quite easy to set up. You can, it looks and feels basically at like a Linux operating system, and you can download additional applications onto it and give it more functionality than what it came with out of the box. It's pretty much built in um, media server. You can also use it as more traditional file and print uh, services. It provides also three HDMI outputs so you can have duplicated or extended desktop options out the back so it could be used as a, a media player perhaps. And for a lot of the small businesses out there, it supports uh, Samba as a service, FTP, which are quite standard. It also supports iSCSI. So if you're uh, in an environment where you've got the VMware, the any kind of virtualization really, um, you can go ahead then and connect to it. In fact, if you have a Windows server, you can also uh, go and connect using iSCSI to a pool of disks in a RAID and uh, connect to it via the network interfaces. So apart from connectivity to things like VMware and Citrix and Microsoft's Hyper-V, you also find enhanced security. Uh, namely, it uses AES 256-bit encryption, so you can have those for the volumes or the shared folders. And you'll find also IP blocking, two-step verification, and more. The PCIe Generation 3 slots that are in the unit will allow you to support additional cards and additional functionality such as uh, the 10 gigabit ethernet or the 40 gigabit ethernet uh, network interface cards or NICs in the future and of course you can also use them to put in PCIe and VME SSD drives uh, or other expansion that will come down the road. We found the preliminary testing quite easy right out of the box. We set it up in minutes and we're able to put in some drives, uh, format them, get a RAID going and so forth, and nothing but ease of use and everything's very well laid out, well explained, and we look forward to adding some uh, Seagate 10 terabyte drives soon to have a very large area in which to store uh, our future video files. So we'd like to send out a special thank you to QNAP for providing the unit. And we'd also ask if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you. Be sure to visit ctobob.com.